I guess, since people want to, you know, make reflections of situations. This is a situation, you know, I've been noticing going on for a while. Uh, this person, I would say I'm friends with this person. I'm not real close friends with this person, but she cool. She cool. I, I've never seen, you know, anything that just make me think she's a real bad person. I'd say she probably done made some mistakes. Ain't nobody perfect, but... You know, in general, I say she's a pretty good, cool person. You know what I'm saying? So, but here's the thing. Over the years I've known this person, I've heard things about this person. And years later, I find out, like, it's only half true what I heard. But what I heard and all the negativity surrounding what I heard, like, this is, like, over, like, four, five, six years, you know, just really, you know, like, wow, I always looked at that person the wrong way because of something that wasn't true. I mean, yeah, they probably have made mistakes, but they ain't really make the mistake that I thought they made to why I thought they were a bad person. And then actually come to find out, the one of, I ain't gonna say both of them, but one of the same people that was just making her sound like a bad person did something like ten times worse than what they were making it sound like she did. But you know, I'm cool with them because I don't know what they did. That's the thing about people. Sometimes people will just throw out there such and such did such and such just to see what you think about it. And you don't feel no type of way about it. And they let you know, well, I did. Like, mm hmm. But you, you know, you're looking at this person some type of way. And I'm not going to say on purpose, but maybe. I would say probably inadvertently. I probably even didn't spread rumors about the person. Inadvertently. Just, you know, just like, oh, yeah, I didn't heard that. I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't. But that's inadvertently still spreading rumors. I mean, you really don't know how that's done affected that person's life. Now. That is a totally different thing than a person who tries to retell their story and make it seem like they story like they were the complete victim, like when that's not what happened. Like it's a lot of things like that person did that were wrong. I and how they look at the situation and how I looked at the situation is obviously completely different. Because I look at it like, you made a mistake. We can get past it. The mistake keeps coming back up because, like, the blame keeps getting shifted to me when it shouldn't be. That's that's a whole different thing than somebody saying you, you know, did something you kind of sort of did but didn't really do. And somebody, like reframing the situation trying to make it seem like they're not the person who messed up like yeah you messed up it wasn't even just a huge mess up it's just the rebringing it up and going through and trying to find some way you wasn't wrong that's what make it seem worse than what it really was matthew 7 do not judge or you will be judged for the same way you judge others will be you will be judged. With the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why, why look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? Now, the Bible does say we shouldn't judge, but it does say we should discern. And it's a fine line between discernment and judgment. Like in the first example, my discernment told me that this young lady was not a bad person. The judgment of others says something different. 
Well, that's the difference between discernment and judgment. Judgment is like rumors and gossip. All right. And in my example with the second person, it's totally different than that. I did not judge this person to begin with. I could have judged this person. And if I used judgment, I probably wouldn't say they were a good person. Discernment made them a good person. Discernment made them worth dealing with. At some point, we became separated. And the point that we became separated, that's when, you know, you had to reassess. You know what I'm saying? Reassess the situation. And sometimes, when the situation is already questionable, you can add to making it more questionable. Especially when, it, you know, people find out, like, you tried to make it seem like you caused the whole situation that you didn't cause. At that point, like, I, I, you kind of forcing me into judgment, and I don't really want to judge you. Especially with what I would judge wouldn't be a good thing. Now, there's se several positives and negatives, but I'm going to try to hit some of the positives. You know, they say the bad tree bears bad fruit and the good tree bears good fruit. And I can't say all this person's fruit is good. We can't say all of it is bad. But when you, when I talk about what, I, like all their actions, all their actions as fruit is being good, I can't really say that. But the child that they produced as being fruit, they did a good job on that one. And that child is special to me. I mean, we probably do need to figure out, like, if she really is my daughter, like, because that was never an issue with me, per se, because she did never, like, say that in the beginning. So I wasn't even under this understanding that this was my child. I was just understanding that this child needed a positive male role model. And I'm going to say, really, the child taught me probably more than I taught her. She showed me something. You only experience people in life. You don't own people. And my experience with that child showed me something. It showed me a different kind of love than I ever had for anybody else. My problems with other people is you played with something that I love. And then I still got questions on what, what's going on and what happened, and my questions not getting answered. And then it's just like, it's a joke. Like, my feelings are a joke. My concerns about a child is a joke. I can't really deal with that. Because, like I say, like, I'm not trying to judge that person. And I think, I, I mean, I know they have issues with me. But at some point, I question, are your issues with me spilling over to issues with your child? And I don't want to have them questions. You know. At this point, I can see, like, I could probably be more helpful to her not being around you. And that's not a good feeling to have. Because, you know, in my heart, that's always going to be my daughter. And I would like to see her grow up and experience her through life and I 
would like her to experience me and what I have to offer and show her to become a better person. But that just done been made too awkward and like too weird. I don't like having, you know, to be like, I got to go to court and do this, that, and the other with somebody, like, that was one of my best friends. I don't feel like I, I should have to do all that to somebody I was friends with. And I, I'm only saying was, because the way it's playing out, you're not acting like like the person is not acting like a friend from what I can see.